Hello everybody, I hope you're well. This video is all about this, a test ride of the Gin X. This is a hybrid bike, meaning it's like a gravel bike. So you can use it on the tracks and trails you'll see around here, or you can use it for commuting to work, popping to the shops. Uh, it's generally an all round bike, but it's not an out and out road bike, and it's not an out and out uh, mountain bike. So it's that compromise in between. So you're not trying to buy more than one bike to take to different environments. So the idea of this being an hybrid bike, it's got front shock absorbers, it's got wide tires, but not knobbly tires. The gears are mid range, so you could easily use it round town, no problem whatsoever. There's no drag with those tires, but they're chunky enough to use off road. They're quite wide tires and the front suspension's lockable. So when you're in the town, nip into work, pop into the shops, or just having a cycle around a town or a village, you can switch those off. Or if you want more comfort, you can switch those back on. So it's the, the idea is a general hybrid bike to use on and off road on gravel traps. Not massive hills, not down massive hills, and not on really muddy terrain, because it's not designed for that. It's that compromise between the two. But uh, let's run the video and see how we get on with it. It's got front forks that are lockable. There's the adjuster on there, you can open and lock those. Clean display on the handlebars. The Zoom hydraulic brakes back and front. It is a UK legal bike. It has got a throttle on here, but that's only for walk assist. So it, it won't even move you when you're on it. It's just when you're pushing the bike along, you can press that and it'll assist you to move the bike. So if there's a really big hill and you're struggling to get up it, you can walk with the bike, press that, and it'll help you up the hill. Nice simple display. I've seen that display on many bikes before. Speed can be changed from kilometers to miles per hour. Percentage of battery, five power settings adjusted on here. On and off button in the middle. And you're pressing all the top button and the display goes dimmer and the front light comes on. There's a little horn under there and the good old standard Shimano gears that you get on practically every e-bike and they are faultless. The, uh, every one I've done, seven speed Shimano's like this, they work straight out of the box as this one did. Nice grips, I do like these grips, you get them on a number of different bikes but it just shows a little bit more quality so you got a bit of a palm rest on there and with these being hydraulic brakes you only really need to use one or two fingers on them because they're super super efficient comes with two keys and we'll talk about that in a bit but nice in the black all the cables are hidden so the cables come around here and then there's like this extra panel that's screwed on and the cables are hidden in here which is quite good because if you have a problem with a cable it's nice to have them hidden but it'd be a nightmare to get to it so you undo those two screws to get to the cables which i think is a good idea the seat, I would say the seat is not super comfy, but it's not uncomfy. It's about average, but it has got all the adjusters on as well. So you can adjust it backwards and forwards, and you've obviously got plenty of height in the seat stem. Comes with a rack. There's no backlight on this. You'll see when I clip in the assembly video, um, it doesn't come with a backlight that's fashioned to the battery. The front light is with the battery, but the back one is an independent one. But there is a bracket on here to put a light on. I haven't fitted the independent light because it's just a, a battery powered one that fits on the back. This is supposed to be a chain resistant chain, so I don't know if that's actually stainless steel. It's got a derailleur guard on there. It's a Bafang. 250 watt and it is stamped on there so you don't have any trouble in the UK with the police and these Bafan motors are on lots of different bikes they're all over the place and they're well proven now it's an aluminium frame and it's TIG welded there's your front light and your reflector and that's got the horn in it it's obviously CE approved Tires are good, puncture resistant with a fluorescent strip on the side and hybrid tires so they're not super chunky. I was coming up a hill on the way up here and it slipped slightly but on the gravel but that's expected on those type of tires but they're not completely town tires and they're quite wide. Full mud guards back and front 
plenty of coverage to keep you dry stuff you get in spray up your back when it's wet comes with a stand there's the uh, disc brakes with the hydraulic brake on the back same as the front so it's another one of those almost looks like a normal bike <laughs> it's got a big um, dam tube there um, for the battery to go in and that battery is removable but slightly peculiar with this one because the battery comes out the bottom so they get the battery out is locked in that's what the keys are for but you'll have to turn the bike on its side lay it down to slide the battery out or turn it upside down so if you're thinking of taking your battery out all the time to charge it it can be a bit faffy with this type of setup but I suppose most people charge it when it's in the bike and there's just a rubber plug down at the bottom down here which you take out and your charging brick goes in there super clear display not too big not too cumbersome and uh, the buttons are easy to use to go up and down the power settings you can go cycle this so I'm not putting any effort in at the moment I'm just literally spinning the pedals and that's giving me enough movement on the pedals to enable the motor to understand I want to go forward but if I want to get a bit more exercise I just move down the gears and move down the power settings the brakes are super keen we're being hydraulic and you only need one finger <laughs> and I'm trying to do that one-handed while holding the camera it's not easy so this is the walk assist so that's my thumb full down on it now and it just gives you where you can see on the speedo next to nothing just enough to enable you to walk with a bike and this take the effort off that's on setting number five hopefully you can hear it on camera it's not over noisy it's what you'd expect from a rear hub motor if you leave it switched on for too long it'll switch itself off which is good so if you pack up and forget to switch it on you're not draining your battery so that chain is a rust free chain and it's supposed to last between three and eight thousand miles which is quite significant I've never seen that before I presume it's stainless steel you do have the motor disconnector under here so you can disconnect the motor there if you want to take the back wheel out which makes life easier so just looking underneath this is where the battery comes out so there's the key socket there's a power switch and there's actually a fuse there as well I've never seen before and I was conscious that uh, they might get water into that switch and I've checked on the website and it is waterproof I'll put the rating below now and when you turn the key it removes that pin so you can slide the battery out chain cover on the front chain plastic cover there just to keep the chain away from your trousers pedals are good nice strong aluminium pedals it did come with a water bottle carrier which was a clip-on one i haven't fitted that because it didn't look the best quality to be fair but there doesn't seem to be any fittings on the frame no screw fittings to fit a water bottle for this one the rack is quite substantial for a bar rack and it's got these extra sides on here so if you're going to put panniers on this will stop the pannier going into the wheel it's an absolute stunning beautiful day out here today and as I say it's a Saturday and there's nobody around I've only seen some locals with the dogs but look at this beautiful view and great time to take a bike out like this I've had a right good ride on this today but let's just nip back to the cottage and we put this one together in the garden and I only use the tools that it come with and a pair of secateurs to cut the tie wraps so let's see how it went together and how it was delivered so let's show you how it was delivered and how it goes together. Packaging looks okay as normal. What's yeah, part of it? I guess that'll be the tools, and I'll only use the tools it comes with, and I won't read the instructions. So it should be simple enough to put together. So this is what comes in the little box. So there's the charging brick, UK plug, and then there's a rear light. An Allen key set, 
nut and bolt and washer, spanner, screwdriver, the pedals and the two bag which the tools actually come in. Easy assemble, the front wheel's got to go in, looks like the handlebars and the front wood guard. good with the packing off, aluminium frame, cables hidden in the frame, don't know why that's not fastened, I suppose that just fastens on there, handlebars need to go on and all the controls need to go on, they're usually attached and there's no instructions in the box, I presume on the website there's a video to show you how it goes together but all looks in good condition and relatively straightforward to put together. It's got a 250 motor on the back. It's a, a, a fan motor, as most of them are. careful when fitting the pedals you have to look on the end and there is a stamp to say which side they are. <clears throat> There's a fuse on here and a little switch. I don't know how waterproof that's going to be and there's a key there to take the battery out. But it went together reasonably well. The uh, handlebars was a bit fiddly but apart from that all looks okay no marks this bottle up, this uh, water bottle holder which is a clamp um, which to be honest is a bit cheap and nasty and I don't really know where you're gonna fit it so I won't be fitting that on the front light which has also got a horn in it and it comes with a separate backlight and the backlight works off its own battery so I won't be fitting that but that one works off the main battery I only use the tools that it come with and the good old faithful secateurs to cut the tire wraps. So I can't find my scissors again. So when I was putting this together I said there was no instructions in the actual box or that with the tools and everything, which I thought was a mistake. But actually the Pepsi don't put those in there and it's on the website. So there's a full specification of the assemble and how all the controls work on their website just doing it differently to other manufacturers and I don't think that's too bad because that can be updated and some of the manufacturers they're not the best translation to English in different languages but um, it's handy to have both but certainly on the website if you look on there there's a good instructions of assembly and all the info about the settings for the controls as well but it's not really got a crossbar and it's not a step through somewhere in between I think it's a unisex bike Quite stylish looking. You can see people commuting around town to that, to, uh, back and forward to work. Or if you're really posh to the wine bar, or nipping out on the country lanes around here like this, as I've done today. There's so many bikes and so many designs, it's difficult to choose which one. But to go for something like this, this is like an all rounder for the best description. So town and country, um, commute to work on it and on a weekend you can come out on some gravel tracks. It's not a mountain bike, you're not going to do downhill on it and it hasn't got a massive big cog on the back because that would compromise it when it's on the road. So it's a hybrid bike, gravel bike, town, city, commuting to work, popping to the shops or an afternoon ride. I think a lot of it with bikes now is on the design, the features you get, the quality of the products. So this has got some interesting bits on it. That chain's certainly interesting. It's got very good brakes. The brakes are probably better than you actually need, but quality brakes. And I think it's quite stylish. It's the first gin bike I've tested and I'm impressed with it.
So there we have it, the Gin X. I've had a great ride around on this today and uh, I'm going to enjoy the ride back on this beautiful day in this lovely weather. But um, I've put all the information as we've gone through the video in the text and there will be a link to their website and on their website there's all the information regarding sizes, weights, um, how long the battery's supposed to last, everything's on there. Obviously I can't cover everything else, it'd be a very long video. But check the description because there may well be a discount code. If I've got the price now, I'll put it in now. If not, just check the description and it'll, it'll take you across to their website, show the price and it'll also say if there's a discount code as well. So that just leaves me to say thanks for watching and I'm off for a bike ride. We'll see you on the next one.